Thank you for joining us. Wichita State among the schools ignoring a recent decision by Governor Sam Brownback. That was his reversal last week of the state's protection policy barring discrimination against LGBT workers. Our big story at five, Cakes and at Lawless, shows us how one school says it's working to inspire equal treatment for all. Nearly 600 people rallied at the state capitol this weekend, frustrated with Governor Brownback's executive order, which no longer protects state workers from being fired, harassed, or discriminated based on their sexual orientation. I'm a little uh, disappointed that something um, that affects so many people in, in such a negative way could happen. Here at Wichita State, they contacted students and staff saying the governor's actions will not change its treatment of more than 4,500 workers. I personally have heard from two faculty members that are really appreciative that we uh, restated our commitment towards a non-discriminatory campus. And just as WSU, other schools like KU and K-State have also expressed the same sentiment, saying they will not tolerate discrimination based on sexual orientation. This semester, Wichita State opened a gender-neutral bathroom at the on-campus gym. It's to accommodate transgender students or others who want privacy. It includes lockers and a private shower area. It wouldn't hurt anyone just to have a different bathroom or different layout. So, I mean, I feel like it's a good thing. Some WSU students and staff say this is a step which the state should follow, including people of all backgrounds embracing diversity. Now it's like everybody belongs, so you don't feel left out. So it's like everybody has a place. In Wichita, Nat Lawless, Cake News. Uh, Wichita State Physical Plant funded the gender-neutral restroom. It cost about $35,000.